Well, the sun is shining and the weather is starting to get nice. That means my neighbor Jack's back at it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack has decided to come out, join the travel trailer builder community. So Again. Again. <laughs> so Jack is uh, going to start where he left off and that's the shower. He's got his uh, nice shower stall. So what are we doing, Jack? We just drilled the hole and we've got the drain piece set to elevation so we're just a strong sixteenth below that ridge right there and my mastic that glues my tile down is uh, will take care of that so we'll be right draining right in there nicely and this has all been reinforced so that because everybody says don't put tile in a travel trailer right, right? <laughs> we're going to go against the norm. That's right. <laughs> they say don't do it, we're going to do it. That's right. You get an idea, you just do it. Right. And uh, so we're going to start cutting the tile now, to laying it down and cutting it to place, uh -huh. and then dry fit it all, the whole bottom. Right. Because I've got five different angles here. So there's going to be like probably three pieces that doesn't have a cut in it. Okay. <laughs> maybe not even, maybe just two. Well, that's going to look pretty good. How far up are you going to go with your tile? Then we're going to go up six inches. After we get the bottom done, we'll go up six inches. And I have this set just below that so that we can put a the plumbing or, or the bathroom good caulk right there at that and seal that edge got it got it so the tile's just going to be up above it just a little bit so that will seal off our uh, wonder board the cement board for holding the tile and then so, you'll be pretty close to having the shower done and then back to figuring the electrical and water Well, I would say you're probably 50%, 50% finished maybe. <laughs> <laughs> With me on the electrical, we might be 70% uh, <laughs> still to go. Well, if the weather holds out, you'll have this up and running in no time. Yeah. All right. We well, just got to order a bunch of parts and, uh, and we have some ready, so we're good to go now. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing, Jack. All right. We'll see you after a while. So today we are going to connect our outlet to our wall. And we'll be using some Romax and some wire nuts and also ground cable. So uh, first things first, we're going to take a couple measurements, see what kind of hole that we're going to need to drill, get that into the side, and then we'll... Uh, make a hole, put our Romex on our switch, run it down through to our outlet on the bottom, which we are going to replace with our GFCI, and get that all connected. So now we need to look for a place to put our switch, and I think we are going to have it probably about like right in here. So let me mark that, and we'll get it uh, cut out. So I'm using a template, and I measured uh, the width and height of what I think I'm going to need for my hole. And then I cut out a little template. So that's going to fit just like so in here. That'll fit just about like that. And uh, yeah. So then I take my template. Get it back out here. I set it up here, scribe my lines. Now I'm just going to put some tape around here, and then I'll be able to drill my holes, take my jigsaw, cut that out, and then I'll be able to install my switch. So now we have it all sectioned off where we're going to mark our for cutting our hole. And now I'm going to punch some holes in, and then we'll take a jigsaw and cut that out and uh, fit our outlet. And we'll be pretty close to uh, having that installed.
And so with our hole drilled, then we test fit our piece and it goes in just, just right. Just a little bit of place so everything's not squeezing it. All right, so I cut me a length of cable that I'll be using. Open the back here and it tells you this side's black wire, this side's the white wire, the center's going to be the ground. And uh, we'll feed that up under here and be good to go. And with our wire run and we've tightened down our switch so it's in place, I just need to wire tie uh, that wire in place so it doesn't just kind of dangle down. And then we run it under here and through to our cabinet here. So now, what we need to do, since we've got this installed, is now we can push on our switch plate. So let me clean that up and we'll push that in and give you another shot. Boom, so now that just snaps into place. Looks nice and even. Now we uh, go down below and get everything wired in, and that should look pretty decent and work pretty well. So we've got our wire coming in, going through our box. Wire's coming out, white and black. Got our GFCI hooked up to the hot and the white. Now we're going to tie in the uh, ground with a pigtail, with the black down here under the yellow tape. We'll take the yellow tape off. Remember, gold is hot, silver is neutral, green is ground. Okay, so we have this one wired in. Now what we are looking for is a green light here when we reset. When these come from the factory, they're already tripped, and they won't reset until they are wired in. So, no sparks, no arcs, we want green. And green. So we should have power to this outlet. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so we've got our little LED light here and what we're going to do is throw our switch and with any luck the light will light up and boom. Let there be light. Alright, so now we have power going to that outlet and power to this outlet. Okay, let's wrap things up. And there it is. So we're all buttoned up once again. So everything is uh, in its proper place and functioning correctly. Well, once again, we are uh, tidied up. So everything is back in its place. All my tools are put away. And we have a new outlet. Cool. So now I'll be able to set a coffee pot or a stove or something and be able to plug in right here whenever I'm in shore power and I'm good to go. And no power. So we can turn it off and on right there and be good to go. Well, that wraps up uh, the outlet. So that whole process took about an hour and a half start to finish. So coming in here, gathering all my tools, figuring out where I'm going to put it, marking everything, drilling, cutting holes, running my Romax, and uh, getting every, exchanging the outlet down below for the GFCI, and getting every, everything wired in. I think the, the most difficult part is uh, the Romax. I used a 12-2, so it's pretty heavy wire, and just getting it bent and put back into that box it's probably the most difficult task uh, on this project, but nevertheless, it got done. So that's it. We'll call that a wrap. We have now new power, and uh, yeah, so it's coming along. Next is, well, maybe if all my parts arrive, we will start wiring and installing the inverter and the converter getting those in place and tested. Hopefully, hopefully, that will be the next task. I don't think I have anything else uh, that I need to get done until then. Cool. So, stay tuned.